The Zambezi River, also known as the River of Life, is the fourth longest river in Africa and the largest flowing river discharging into the Indian Ocean. Halfway between the source of the Zambezi and its mouth lies the world's largest man-made reservoir by volume, known for its gorgeous dreamy sunsets and exquisite scenery, Lake Kariba. Along the way, the power of the river has been harnessed at two points, the Kariba Dam and the Kahora Bassa Dam. The Kariba Dam stands at 128 meters tall and 579 meters long and forms Lake Kariba, which extends to 280 kilometers with 185 cubic kilometers of water. The Kariba Dam is used to create a waterhead, which is essentially a height difference between the lake level and the river level. This head ensures that the water gains enough potential energy. Electricity is generated by drawing water from Lake Kariba through a short horizontal intake and through a vertical pinstock to the turbine spiral casing. As the turbine blades rotate, so do a series of magnetized rotor coils inside the generator. As the rotor turns, its magnetic field cuts across the stator, the stationary winding of the generator, winding to produce power in the coupled generator. Water at reduced pressure then passes through a suction cone and draft tube to the tail race where it's discharged downstream of the dam and back into the Zambezi River. The Kariba South Power Station is the largest hydropower generation plant in Zimbabwe with a total generation capacity of 1050 megawatts. The station, however, currently produces less than a third of its total capacity. The Zambezi River Authority relates that on the 8th of July 2018, the lake was 86% full, and on the 8th of July 2019, it was on 27%. The inflows into the Zambezi River that come from rivers and tributaries flowing from the DRC, Zambia, and Zimbabwe were very low due to the drought which affected the region. The water intakes for Kariba South Power Station are designed at about 13 meters below the maximum water level in order to avoid ingress of mud which would clog the generation facilities. This means that only a certain amount of Lake Kariba water is accessible for power generation and this is known as live water. The water below the intakes is referred to as dead water because it's unusable for power generation. If the water levels go below the water intake pipes, there is no way to access water for power generation. The drop in water levels at Lake Kariba has necessitated a reduction of water allocation to power generation, consequently reducing the generation capacities in an effort to ensure electricity generation till the next rainy season. It's also important to note that the Lake Kariba is not solely used for power generation, but for recreation, fishing, as well as tourism. If power generation used up all the lake water, that would be the demise of aqua ecosystem and the fishing and tourism industries.